Hello and welcome back to Bike Matters. Today we're looking at this, the Kimco Exciting S400i ABS Maxi Scooter. So onto the looks and the Kimco Stephanie Gotham. We've got this awesome matte blue one, which looks stunning, but it's also got the things like the LED lights, the front and the back, which look awesome. And they're pretty, pretty bright as well on the road at night times too. It's also got the adjustable windscreen so you can set it to the height that you want to have it at. So all in all, I think you agree, as maxi scooters go, this is a very attractive beast. Now the good thing about maxi scooters is they obviously have storage options too. So with the exciting, you have two glove boxes. One has a USB port as well, so you can charge your phone on the go. And under this seat, there's enough storage for probably one full face helmet and a little bit maybe to the sides as well. So not quite enough for two full face helmets, but still plenty of storage there. It's better than a motorcycle can offer you as standard, isn't it? The seat height is 810 mil. So I'm quite short, I'm five foot six. I've got quite short legs, but I get on this on and off of this absolutely fine. And when you're in traffic as well, it's not a problem. So if you're my kind of height or taller, you're gonna be fine. Slightly shorter, it's always worth having a little check and make sure you're comfortable if you are interested in getting this scooter. Um, but the seat itself is so comfortable. As I say, I've taken this out plenty already. I've done some long journeys on it and it's just so comfortable. Um, the positioning of the lumbar support is dead on. It's just overall a really comfy seat and you know you can do a lot of miles on this and you're not gonna get numb bond because of it. So the scooter weighs in at 189 kilograms. So you kind of expect with a maxi scooter, it's gonna have a bit of weight there. But as it's a maxi scooter, that weight is low down. So it's got quite a low center of gravity. So manual handling wise, if you're quite short like me, it, you do feel a bit of weight there when you're moving it about. But on the road, because it's low weight, it's so maneuverable, it's unbelievable. So not a bad weight, but just you'll know you're moving it manually on the road, it's perfect. It's just an absolute breeze to ride. So fuel capacity, there's a 12 and a half litre tank there, so you know you're gonna be able to do a good few miles on it before you have to fill up, which is nice and reassuring. And the fuel cap is nicely positioned right there. So when you're at a petrol station, there's no flapping about. Easily done, straight to the cap and away you go. So the Excitement has the really cool Nudo system from Kimco. So you can connect it to your smartphone via Bluetooth, and then it gives you the things like GPS. Uh, you can control the background on the clock. You can completely customize it. You can have photos on there. So it's a really cool dash from Kimco there. Now onto the actual instrument panel itself. It's, it's dead on for me. Everything's in the right place. Everything feels quality as well. When you click it and you push it, everything feels right as well. So all in all, when it comes to the instruments and the dash, Kimco have done a brilliant job. Now, when it comes to stopping power, the exciting 400 has plenty. There's twin discs at the front, which are 280 mil, and on the rear is a 240 mil disc, and it uses Bosch's ABS system, so you know you're getting a really good quality ABS system on this scooter. You've got telescopic uh, suspension at the front, and on the rear you've got double swing suspension, which has five preload adjustment on it as well. So you know you've got a nice, comfy scooter when it comes to doing some miles on it. If you're on a country lane, which you've got a few potholes and stuff like that, or around towns, you know this is going to give you a real nice, comfy journey. So onto the power unit. The engine on this is a 400cc, single cylinder, four valve, liquid cooled motor. Now that kicks out about 35.5 brake horsepower, which is 28.32 foot pounds of torque. So you've got plenty of oomph with this scooter. So how much does it cost? Well, it starts from 5,599 pounds which is extremely competitively priced when you compare it to the other scooters around this kind of engine category out there on the market currently, especially with the amount of tech this offers as standard. So that's enough talking about the Kimco Exciting. Let's take her out onto the road and see how she handles. So here we go. This is the Kimco Exciting S400i, I believe, to give it its full title. Now, I've ridden this bike quite a bit. Maxi scooter, and I really struggled to say anything negative about it. I've just been really impressed. So let's talk about it. Brand new, 
the starting price is from £5,599, which is might seem a lot for a maxi scooter, but look at others on the market around this category, it's very competitively priced, especially with all the tech this has. So let's go on to that tech. We spoke about them briefly in the studio, but let's talk about on the road and how I find it all. The dash is immense. It's not lovely and clean, it really is. And uh, with that Nudo system, so you can load up GPS, the weather forecast, photos, customizable clock backgrounds. I just think the, the Nudo system is pretty awesome. It's so clear. The dials will tell you everything you want. And it doesn't struggle in a lot of sunlight or dark or anything. It's just nice and clear. You don't struggle to see anything. The control panel or instrument panel here is dead on. Everything feels quality to the touch. You know when you've touched it, it just it's a reassuring click or feeling to it. The indicators makes a hopefully you'll be able to hear that, it makes a reassuring tick-tock sound, and you know when you've cancelled it. There's everything just feels quality on the whole bike not just the instrument panel um, so it's, it is just just right it feels kind of the whole Goldilocks thing it's just right now it's got immense stopping power at the front we've got 280 mil brake discs on the rear we have a 240 mil brake disc which is a lot of stopping power you really don't struggle to come to a halt on this when you want to um, it's also got Bosch ABS system. So again, Kimco have invested money. They've got some really awesome components on this. With the big brake disc, the the, the awesome um, ABS system, um, the Nudo as well. It also has at the front telescopic suspension, which just takes everything you throws at, and that just generally makes your day pretty smooth and comfortable. Um, it just eats up miles and it's an absolute joy to ride. I can't get over the comfort. And how the, the acceleration is lovely and smooth, but it's got enough power there that if you want to go for an overtake, it's got your back. It really has. I'm just overly impressed by this thing. In fact, I don't have anything negative to say about it. And I hate not having something negative to say about it because it just seems like it's forced or oh, I've said it because I've got to say it. It's not the fact, I just really like this scooter. Let's do an overtake here. Just to show you how you're not... See, it's quick as that. And job done. Kimco. Back in the day they used to work for Honda. So if you want a, a sign of uh, good quality and reliability it's the fact that they used to work with Honda. Um, now obviously modern day they're making it under their own brand but that's not where it ends. See they also make the engine for their C-Series BMW Maxi scooters and also the Kawasaki J125 and J300s are rebranded Kimco scooters so you can rest assured if you haven't heard of Kimco before they're actually a very reputable com company there's a lot of effort going on behind the scenes to get a really good setup and they take things extremely serious over at Kimco UK so you can rest assured when it comes to things like warranties and parts Kimco UK are really going to look, you know, look after you and have everything readily available. The uh, lumbar support on this one is fixed. The AK uh, is adjustable, but to be honest, with how comfy this seat is, I really can't see you having any kind of issues <laughs> with the lumbar positioning. And so there's there's plenty of foot room at the bottom as well. So if if you're a taller person, which isn't uh, too difficult when compared to me. There is plenty of leg room and foot room. It'll just eat up the miles and you just feel like you're in an armchair. Now, big shout out to Lexham Insurance who power bike matters, our YouTube channel. They make it all possible for us to test ride bikes and put out the content that we do. 
Um, so if you're in the UK and you're looking to get insurance on your moped, scooter or motorcycle, head on over to alexainsurance.co.uk. We've put the details and the link in the description. Head on over, get a quote online, or there's a phone number so you can call, and hopefully you get a nice competitive quote. It's just nothing about this is a chore. It's just a really pleasant riding experience. £5,599 starting price, I think, is <laughs> very good indeed for everything you're getting. It's a shame maxi scooters over here haven't taken off as much as they have on the continent, really. Because uh, they're lovely to ride, especially when you get a fine example such as the exciting S400. It is just glorious. Now, yeah, as I say, I'll take us into town shortly, give us a little buzz around the tighter roads, but it's just so light. The suspension, the feel, the seat, the acceleration, everything just comes together to give a really nice, pleasant riding experience. Now, I believe it's got a 12.5 litre fuel tank, so rest assured you're not going to be filling this up every five minutes. I found the fuel economy to be superb. I've really used this thing quite a lot and it's just not using any. I don't actually know what the exact figures are, but it's got to be around the 80 miles per gallon. If you want a maxi scooter, which is going to be extremely comfortable, good at touring, then I really think you need to consider this. It's easy when you uh, look at Kimco's range and think, oh, but the AK is the biggest, so I'll go, I'll go be interested in the AK. The AK is for a phenomenal bike, but uh, this exciting is, is so good. It, I've been really impressed by it. Now, I'm sure the scooter or not off-road training facility or somewhere where it can be allowed to do it legally uh, it can get up to 100 miles an hour obviously don't go doing that on the, the normal English roads people I'd never do such a thing right I've just pulled over everyone just to quickly talk around this bike as quickly as possible you would have seen loads of it in b-roll anyway so yeah Nudo system here and menu customizable background clock uh, weather for when you connect it to your phone as well you can just change about everything on it and obviously run GPS as well um, handbrake here obviously lights here flash there cool little button to pop your seat go through that in a second indicator listen to that reassurance that is then nice little click in everything just feels quality as I say horn under there Lights there, electric start there, hazards there, up and down menu options, and over here, excuse me for being short, um, is Nudo to menu there, so you can, if you see on there, change your options, and then, and then you go into the Nudo which changes that one. Um, so yeah, let's quickly look at the front. Look at that, isn't that blue? Isn't it pretty? Nice and aggressive. The blue is amazing, hopefully the camera does it justice. Look at those big meaty, big meaty discs at the front. And that front telescopic suspension, which just soaks up everything. Big exhaust. There's one thing actually, it would be nice to um, have, as I burn myself being an idiot, it would be nice to have a stainless steel on there, but you don't get everything dear. Again, rear suspension, double rear swing suspension I believe cool little LED lights look at that don't look cool now if I quickly uh, show you in here so this little glove box here is rather cool and there's a little USB port back there as well which you can charge your phone up 12 volt and another little cubby hole here which we've got 
the little toolbox in. Now if I lift this up and grab my cheat sheets out of the way, there's a GoPro stick and GoPro mount, doesn't come with the bike. Um, yeah, that's your storage option, so you fit one helmet in there, maybe a little bit more pushed up there. But yeah, so there you go. That is the exciting 400. Isn't she lovely? So yeah, get back on the road and uh, finish up, shall we? So there you go, that brings us to an end riding this Kimco exciting S400i. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching it. I've really enjoyed riding it. I've just got nothing negative to say about it. I'm sorry, but I just loved it. It's such a nice experience riding this scooter. Um, but yeah, if, if you've liked the video, please like it. Give it a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Not much effort, people. Just hit that little like and give us a thumbs up. If you've got any questions about the exciting or you've got one yourself and want to talk about it, leave us a comment on the video as well. We always try to respond to any sensible questions on there. And uh, also, please subscribe to our channel as well and hit that little notification icon so when our new content becomes available, you get to see it. Again, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.